UPLS. It's a way that anybody can make a hole in the wall and eventually put a plate on it semi-professionally. There's a little holding tab for static support. We got a little fancy wire through. And you got a plate. And you can even be a super genius. Jam a screw in it here and pull the little latch back to you. And you really get some. upper cut so it might only halfway hold we'll see. There we go. Just makes it a little more stable and it also inserts a nice jaggedy sharp object in the wall so when you forget about it in a year and add another cable you pretty much pierce the meaty part of your hands. Now Cut off the junky piece of our wire. Open that up. Get rid of our pull string. Cut five connector 568B wiring pattern. The accepted international standard currently. Now Lace that in. Maintaining our wire twist within one inch of our termination point for maximum nearing crosstalk resistance. Because I know in a homeland you need every bit of your 350 megahertz signal. There we go. Blue, orange, green, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, violet, rose, aqua. Those are your telecom colors and the orders they fall. And yes, I know that the latter few are for fiber optics only. So bite me, haters. Da, 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 da. Maintaining wire twist to one inch. There we go. I hold it like this, take the cutting side, put it on low impact, nail it down. Sometimes it may require two cuts. This blade's about had it. I need to find a phone guy. Some tools laying around. Swap blades on. station is terminated. Colors are fine. My stuffer cap on. And once I find a nice plate, it'll finish off nicely. For now, I'll probably leave it hanging like that, completely ghetto. Just going to put a RJ45 mail on this side because I'm going to bring all my LAN cables out here for a once I get a desk and it's going to have routers and all applicable hardware, so I'm going to put a plate with a hole and just bring all these cables out and just put nails on the end. It's a little easier that way. I guess I could put a whole patch panel up and all that jazz, but just, well, it wouldn't look all that cool. It's a little bit of a different deal when you do an RJ45. You have to insert the conductors in a parallel line inside this connector and then crimp it. 
and there's a whole nother order so that everybody plays nice. White from orange, orange, white from green, blue, white, green, white, brown. And that order typically is your 568B wiring pattern. If you get one of them out of order, it's not a good thing. So get them all nice and neat. Like from orange, white, from green, blue, white, green, white, brown. Snip them up about an inch and a half over something so you don't get it on your new carpet. business side of your RJ45 crimper, go down to the click, and now you have a functioning mail connector. Bada boom, bada beam, we have LAN. Let's test it. There we go, data's up and running. Just to check it, we're going to crash my browser real quick with... 2700 images. Looks like it's loading just fine. Oh good. Network is complete. Fast internet enabled. Go Comcast. Well, I guess I got stuff to do. All that free porn on the internet's not going to download itself, so gotta get busy. Farewell.